So there are, there's three quarters of a cup of coconut sugar, a cup of almond flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, three, uh, let's see, I doubled, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, or it says walnuts, I prefer pecans with my apples. And then we have uh, a quarter, a teaspoon of salt in here. And then I'm about to add two thirds a cup of coconut oil solid. If you can do dairy, you can do um, ghee or grass fed butter and you would do two thirds a cup. Otherwise, coconut oil is what I'm doing to keep it dairy free. But I'm gonna stir this before I add. So this is what it looks like before I add my coconut oil. And it's warm enough in here right now that this coconut oil will blend really nicely. It's super soft. All right. I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit while I was doing this. I have already made my crust. Um, it's been chilling in the fridge. I'm gonna mix my streusel topping together. This recipe said to do it before you roll out, but because I'm doing two pies, I know, um, or, do it after you roll them out and get the pie filling in. But I'm going to do it ahead of time because I have two pies I'm making. And this way, um, like I'll still put the first pie in the fridge to let it cool or keep it cool so the crust doesn't, so it stays cool because it will cook better being a gluten-free pie. Um, so I wanted the crumble to be ready to go on top of both my pies because I'll have to roll out the other pie crust, so a lot of time to chill. You have any guess when you're making an apple pie? If you don't have um, a pie mat, you can do parchment paper. But I have a pie mat. I love that it's got inches. I make a lot of pie. Got my diameter. So this one is a 10 inch. See the um, organic shortening in there. It's not Crisco, it's a nice shortening that I buy. I'll show you guys the crumble more closely. So here's the crumble that's going on top of two pies. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. All right. So these are pretty solid. You leave it out at room temperature, it will soften some, which actually pull the second one out because I think this is gonna be hard to roll. I use saran wrap. You can do a piece, two pieces of parchment, but I tend to use saran wrap. And 
and this is usually more crumbly crust. It's made with tapioca flour, almond flour, and coconut flour. Some salt. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else is in it. An egg. Of course, the shortening I mentioned that you could see, kind of like almost like a butter. This is one of our favorite crusts to do. I've done this one with my pecan pies. that have xanthium gum in them because it tends to just leave a weird flavor in my mouth and texture. So this is why I like this pie crust recipe the most. All right, there it is, so pretty. And it's going to, it's gonna be sticky. This is a very crumbly pie crust, so I may have to fix some of it. And you want to keep it hard. Yeah, I let it get too soft, so I will be fixing it. It's okay. It actually fixes really nicely. So I've got some goods on here. I gotta do all of this guy. Since it's a gluten free crust, you can't overwork it. I mean, you're probably good, but. It's not the same as regular pie crust in that way. I 
I love how forgiving this dough is. But it is not a great one to do, as you saw, a topper. I mean, you could if you do enough tapioca flour to flour your surface. Um, but we like a crumble top, unless it's a little bit easier right now. And I'll stretch my pie. was cooked the night before. And then doing all these apples and I'll have to cook some more for another pie. Alright, we're gonna even out these apples. So some got a little bit mushier. These are fresh picked apples from an orchard. Some of them were a little bit cooked really, really fast. Um, I'm going to sprinkle a little tapioca flour. So bubbles, it should hopefully absorb any extra liquid. So I'll have a nice crunch on top. Just making sure I get it all covered, filling in any gaps that I have. Five after that, cook for 30 minutes, and then when there's about 15 minutes left, I take my pie crust cover off. So, I'm going to the pie crust cover, so, look at that pie. minutes lower to 375 then um, do that for 30 minutes and the last 10-15 minutes take the cover off of that 
during that 30 minutes so that the crust on the top can brown and then we will go from there so hope you guys enjoy we'll show you later what it turns out to be